Hey everyone, welcome back to Denim Fixin. It's Kathy and it's Friday. TGIF. I am so ready for this weekend to begin. I have been doing so much these past couple weeks that I don't really have any plans for this weekend, which is kind of nice. Anyway, but I did manage to get a little bit of shopping done while I was um, on my few days that I had when the kids were at school. And let's just get started. I um, wanted to follow up on my derma roller. This is my derma roller that I talked about, how I was really excited to try it. And the way the derma roller works is it's just this little torture device, basically. It has little um, spikes on it, like little needles, and you go through and you puncture your skin. And basically what happens after you puncture your skin, your, your skin rushes to reproduce or regenerate collagen plumping up your skin. And if you do this on a regular basis, it's supposed to eliminate fine lines, wrinkles, scarring, and whatnot. So I was thinking it was kind of a, a similar uh, version or similar to the Ulthera treatment that I had where they used the um, ultrasound, the ultrasound this was way. kind of a, an old fashioned way. So I thought, let's give it a shot. I have this lovely scar, I pointed it out to you before and I thought, why don't we try to regenerate the collagen underneath my scar, excuse me, just threw it across the room and um, yeah, just see how it goes. So I, I purchased this and then along with that, they say when you've got the little holes in your skin, it's good to always apply like a um, some sort of a, a serum, but it needs to be an all natural serum, like hyaluronic acid or like a vitamin C serum. So I purchased this, which, I, which when I purchased this on Amazon, you know, they always have suggestions as to what other people buy with it, or you always read the comments and read what people do. So kind of like YouTube, how you go on YouTube and you see what other people do and how things work for them. Well, this was um, a suggested purchase, so I bought it. It's called the 180 um, Pure Swiss Hyaluronic Acid Serum. But it looks like this. And it's just a small little serum. So when I tried this, I've done this a few times and it seems to be working, which I'm really excited, but I think you have to keep continue. I think it's one of those continuous um, things that you need to do. Um, I punctured my scar several times with the holes and then I put just a very, very small amount of this serum on and then I just let it soak in before I started my nighttime treatment. And um, We'll just continue to do that and see how that works. Another thing that I bought was this Fit Me concealer. Let me see. I'm going to get my glasses because, once again, I cannot read very small writing anymore. This is the, oh, I still can't see this, medium. But this is actually a really nice um, concealer. I don't normally like concealers that come in these... Um, I don't know what you call these applicators, these little tubes. I kind of prefer a concealer that comes in a pot or like a cream concealer or, you know, one that comes in a twist up tube. But I wanted to try this because so many people on YouTube liked it. So I, I ordered one off of Amazon once again. And it does have a very, very nice consistency. And it doesn't so a lot of times what happens with these is they seem like they're too liquid and they don't cover anything up. And to me, this one seemed like it was still really creamy once you put it on. So I highly recommend this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. <sighs> one more thing that I really, really, um, this was just kind of a fluke that I bought. Um, I was watching somebody on YouTube. I can't remember who it is, but um, they were using a two inch barrel curling iron and I kind of felt like, oh, I think I need that because I have really, really fine hair. I'm trying to grow it out. I want to give it a little more volume, but I want to keep it smooth. And I thought, oh, a two inch barrel of curling iron might be something that could work for me. Well, when I was out shopping, I came across this. Now this is the Conair Infinity Pro curling brush plug it in but I don't have a plug right here to show you how it works but this is pretty neat it actually spins and it blows out hot air and it comes in 
one, two, three different speed, no, two different speeds and then one cool speed. And if you put it on cool, it doesn't spin, but you can reverse it. There's little buttons here to reverse it. You can go either way. So you can flip your hair under and it'll like, it'll curl it going under, or you can flip it up. And um, it can give you that little boost of volume that I know I need a little bit of boost of volume right up here. This was a really neat um, purchase. Uh, I'm really happy that I bought it. It um, is metal here, so it kind of heats up a little bit. So as you're curling your hair, it'll kind of, you know, hold the curl a little bit like a curling iron. And the one thing, the bristles are softer bristles, which I'm not super crazy about those soft bristles. But um, but other than that, it, might, it actually might be a good idea because it kind of, um, it's not as rough on your hair like sometimes the harder bristles would be. And um, it just take, it takes a little bit of getting used to as far as which direction to hit the button. Because you don't, you know, it sure stinks if you like think you're going to roll your hair under and then it flips up. The wrong way and then sometimes you have to get used to not wrapping your hair up but I think you can wrap it up and I think it will curl it but I'm going more for a smoother straight look so I try to just run it down so like just run it down and then it'll spin 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 and dry at the same time which is kind of a neat product so it actually I think it saves a little bit of time as far as getting ready and you only need one product this is coming on vacation with me and i think this is the only thing i'm going to be taking on vacation with me as far as hair products i did do a little bit of bargain shopping this week um very little i'm trying to cut back on my shopping um i never have really been a well uh, no i shouldn't say that i have been a big big shopper in the past but lately i've kind of decided that I have a little too much. I have a little, um, I'm a little excessive when it comes to clothes and shoes and makeup. So I'm really trying to cut back and, but I did manage to do a tiny bit of shopping because sometimes as a recovering shopaholic, there, you know, you just need a little bit just to fill that, fill that need to just buy I something like to go. I always like to hit the thrift stores. There's a raw stress for less really close to me, which is always fun. You always find the neatest things in there, which is kind of like a, a glorified thrift store, but with new stuff. And, um, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. Um, but so anyway, so sometimes when I get really bored, I will go shopping. So I did go to Ross and I found these adorable sandals. You know, because one can never have too many sandals. I have lots of high heels. And yes, girls, I would love to just be running around in a pair of Christian Louboutins or my Manolo Blahniks. But realistically, I'm, once again, I'm 5'10", so I would just tower over everybody in the first place. I used to wear heels all the time, but I've kind of cut back. And honestly, my feet, I guess because I've worn flats for so long, my feet just don't do as well in the hills anymore. But, um... I did find these adorable um, sandals that I thought would be really cute. And you can kind of see those. They were, they were only 14, I want to say they were $14.99. But they've kind of got this cute little snake print. And they're um, gold and silver. I love the, or is it maybe it's kind of a pewterish color. So I love the two-tone that you can wear with anything. So you don't have to, I'm kind of like a matchy-matchy, like if I'm wearing gold jewelry I have to, if I have shoes that have gold I'll have to match those up if I can't wear silver accessories but they're going um, so yeah so I love these I love the snake print I thought these were cute I thought it was a great price I love the flat they're bandolinas and um, that was a lot of fun that was a fun purchase that I made and then I found oh this this was not from Ross I actually purchased this from off of eBay and it was this um, kind of a lacy cover-up. You could use it as a cover-up or as like a sweater. This would be perfect for going to the movies. I just loved it. I thought it was great for summer. It's kind of romantic. I love the whole romantic lacy style. And um, yeah, I just thought it would be something good just to throw on over your shoulders. Because um, I know like if I wear tank tops, I still get cold when I go inside buildings with air conditioning. So, but if I have something just covering my shoulders, I feel better. So, even though I love to wear tank tops, but I, I don't like to be cold either. So this is kind of the perfect thing. It's not too heavy, just enough to cover your shoulders so you don't, maybe it's all psychological, but 
um, just to kind of keep you just a little bit warm. And I, I just love that. And that just came from someone in, on eBay. Ross. And back to Ross. I found this adorable sweater. It's kind of a spring-summer sweater. I love the, the sleeves. It's BCBG, I think. Yeah, BCBG. And um, I just thought it was really pretty. Right. just about covers my, my Ross purchases of the week. I really tried to tone it down. And then, and then, of course, another thing that I love, love, love to do is hit the thrift stores. Um, I, a lot of times I'll just go and find stuff that I'm going to resell on eBay. But um, some, a lot of times I'll find stuff for me, too. And stuff, you'd be surprised at what we find at some of the thrift stores. They've got some pretty good stuff. I'd say they're very underrated. People kind of feel like, um, a lot of people don't like thrift stores. I have, I do. I think that they're a lot of fun. Um, the things that you can find, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of times people buy stuff they never even wear. So you'll find brand new stuff and, um, or stuff that's barely been used. But when I do, I tend to just, um, my rule of thumb is I'll go to the store, I find stuff I like, I throw it in the washing machine, hang it dry, and then um, wear it. And, you know, after it smells like, it smells like me. Um, but I found some really great things, and you pay very little. And, you know, I most certainly can afford to go to the regular stores to buy stuff, but I'm a bargain shopper. To me, it's like a sport. Men love to watch sports and play sports. I think women like to shop, and I think um, if you can find a great deal, it's like you feel like you've won. So <laughs> I know that's kind of a crazy a crazy um, analogy, but but I think I think... I think a lot of women feel that way. So I found this adorable um, Gap tank top. And I love the way, one thing I love about this tank top is I love how it hangs. And you know, I feel like I, I think I put on a couple pounds this past year and I'm feeling like it's kind of in my waist area. So I'm loving these kind of blousey tops. <laughs> Just kind of, you know, kind of cover it up and give you a little more freedom. I'm tired of wearing things that are too tight that make me uncomfortable. And yes, I could, I do need to lose a couple pounds and I will. I just need to get on it. But, um, I always do. Uh, but until then I'm going to wear this cute little gap tank top that I found <laughs> back has got this cute little, um, cinching. So yeah, I could actually expand. I could expand a little bit, but I don't plan to, but if, but I could, I'd have the option to do that. And then, of course, I can never resist a cute peasant top. I don't even know if peasant tops are in style anymore. But if they are, I have one. And this is that a knit peasant top, and it's by Karen Kane. And, you know, Karen Kane is a pretty, um, a pretty big-time brand, I think. But isn't this adorable? I love the fabric. I love this um, knit fabric. The sleeves are adorable. It's got a little elastic in it. And it's got that blousey, you know, that blousey-ness that I like. And then it has a little side tie, which is really cute. And um, so I was really excited about this. I love the black. Um, I could wear black every single day. I, I try to mix it up a bit because I think sometimes we do need to have a little color in our lives. But um, I love this. I could not resist. I it. hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. I'm going to try to start doing my videos a little more consistently. I've been having a hard time just trying to set a date like set the day I'm trying to do that but it just sometimes it just doesn't work for me so when you see a video from me it's just gonna be a surprise and hopefully in the future I'll be able to be a little more consistent with that but for now I just want to thank you for watching if you like um, my videos please subscribe like share um, and I hope to see you really soon thanks for watching bye